Hi friends, welcome back to the Pragmatic Lopa. Soon after winter, we all eagerly wait for an eventful spring. And to top our excitement, Valentine's Eve kind of welcomes the comments of spring. So I decided, why don't I blend both the themes in one to mark the eve of Valentine as well as with pops of color and blooming flowers to mark the beginning of spring. So in today's video, you'll see how I made this DIY which all in all is an inexpensive, easy and quick project to make. Let me inform you, I made this DIY during last spring when I wasn't into YouTube so didn't film then. For you guys, I removed almost everything and doing it again. So let's see how to thicken the air with the scent of love and blooming flowers. I wanted to give a makeover to this uninspiring corner of all of my house. To be precise, I wanted to create an interesting and loving space instead of this lifeless dull doors of my laundry area. You can see here, these two doors have been further divided into two, so total I have to work on four of these. My goal here is to create a heart shape at the center including all the four parts of the door. You can mark the border on the door with a pencil to guide where to paste the pictures so you can erase it later. For the heart shape, either like this you can simply paste the pictures on the door within the border using cellophane tape in a heart shape but eventually I wanted to use it in a different way so I used two poster sheets or chart paper of any color of your preference. I used white. These are just the leftover pieces from another project as right now I do not have new ones. But now just to show you the procedure I am using these two plain white paper. Line both of them together and using a pencil with free hand draw one half of the heart shape. Once you are done. Cut it out using scissors. Make sure both the sheets are lined together so in one go you will have two sides of the heart. Now randomly place picks in the desired pattern you want them to be. Once happy with the look, stick them using cellophane tape. And wherever you find gaps in between, draw emojis in varying sizes depending on the size of the gap. Similarly, fill all the gaps of both the sides. If you find it difficult to picture emojis, just scroll down your phone. If you have heart or emoji stickers, you can use them which is much easier. Else like me, color them either using colored pens or marker which again is easier than using acrylic paint. So I will make use of both these options as I do not have yellow and white colored pen. Using a brush, I painted all the emojis first with yellow acrylic paint, let them dry. Then I used white acrylic paint to color eyes and teeth. Once dry, using black colored pen, outline the borders, eyebrows and other facial features and used red color pen for kisses and eyes. In the same way, color all the emojis on either side once everything is done. And this is the ultimate look. You can see here the variety of emojis I used to draw which so beautifully describes the ups and downs of life or any relationship in its own way. And definitely they aren't only the happy ones. Either use double sided tape or if you do not have like me you can just roll the cellophane tape with the sticky side out and align at the borders to stick the hole onto the door. Initially when I stuck it to the door it was just a single piece of half of the heart on each side but had to pass the exacto knife over this cap to divide this further into two so I can use the door comfortably 
for your regular toe, you should skip this step. Repeat the same on the other side as well. If you wish, you can leave it at this step. But I wanted to add a lighting effect using these colored string lights as I already had them. You can use single color lights or whichever you prefer. Push the thumb tags into the wooden frame of the door and start aligning these lights over and across his thumb tags all round the door. So when you light up, this is how it will look. Now you can leave as it is at this stage itself but I wanted to add more of a rustic look. For this, I used burlap ribbon. You can use any width you want but the lesser width is better for wrapping around string lights. So I cut this big one into two halves of lesser width. Now start wrapping this burlap along the string lights but first secure the base with strip of cellophane tape and poke the mini bulbs out through the burlap. Keep wrapping the same way all throughout the length of string lights. For joining two burlap ribbons and even to end, I used a strip of cellophane tape. Once done, align it along the border and push the thumb tag through the burlap into the wooden frame. Similarly as before, continue all round the door. And this is how it will look once it's all done. For the spring effect, I took these fake flower sticks and carefully separated each flower along with its leaf. Once you are done with all of them, I use these safety pins to pin each flower along with its leaf as a flower set. You can always stick these flower set using hot glue. But I prefer these pins as later on when I'll be bored of this look, I can always reuse this burlap as well as these fake flowers for some other project. Similarly, pin all flowers as such sets and keep them aside which we'll soon use to pin to this burlap. Check for the location where exactly you want to pin them. After you open up the pin, carefully pin to the burlap. Similarly, one by one pin other flower sets as well, leaving adequate distance between two such sets. If you wish, like this, you can pin two or even three flower sets together. So finally, this is how it will turn out to be. After a while, like in few days or weeks, you can change the floral arrangement to give it another look by randomly pinning a bunch of flowers together at the upper corner. Similarly, do it at the other corner as well. To further add to the rustic look, I just let few single strands of burlap to hang down from top and you are all set to enjoy your personalized corner with sparks of spring all to yourself. Hope you like this attempt of mine. If so, do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already and do hit that bell notification button not to miss out any of such interesting videos. If you wish to know a little more about me, you can follow me on my social media. Links are also provided in the description box below. Do check out other room decor ideas on my channel. See you soon in my next one. Till then, take care. Love you all.